All right, let's get right into our top story this Thursday. New details in yesterday's deadly crash on Rock Creek Parkway. We've learned new details about one of the vehicles involved. Records show it has a long history of traffic violations. Fox 5's Melanie Almick joins us with the latest on that. Mel, good morning. Hey, good morning, Steve and Jeanette. And we still don't know for sure from U.S. Park Police which one was the striking vehicle at the curve here on P Street. But you can see, as we talked about yesterday, those uh, dotted lines that show what appears to be where one vehicle uh, veered out of the lane here and into the oncoming traffic. Now, Fox 5 uh, has learned that that Lexus has 44 outstanding speeding tickets racked up in less than 10 months. Fox 5 looked up the tag number on the D.C. Department of Motor Vehicles website. The Lexus SUV had seven speeding tickets in February alone. Four on the list are for speeds more than 25 miles an hour over the limit. The total amount of fines owed more than $12,000. Well, that Lexus SUV is the one that a U.S. Park Police officer attempted to pull over on Rock Creek Parkway at Virginia Avenue early Wednesday morning. The Lexus did not stop and a short time later was involved in the violent crash at the P Street curve at 1.40 in the morning. The officer who attempted the traffic stop responded to the crash and is said to have recognized that Lexus from earlier. We've since learned that the deceased in the Honda sedan were three adult men. A man and a woman were inside the Lexus SUV. Park police say their pursuit policy does prohibit them from chasing drivers who take off during a traffic stop, and the officer did not pursue in this case. Now, again, U.S. Park police have not yet stated what caused this crash. They do tell us there's, this is just a multifaceted investigation with a lot of details that they've got to get right. Uh, and I guess when, when they have those ready for us, they'll let us know. We also know that at last word, Steve and Jeanette, they're still working on notifying next of kin of those who died here. Uh, Mel, back to that long list of, of tickets. What's the city's policy for vehicles like that? So, you know, the D.C. Department of Motor Vehicles says if there's an outstanding ticket or tickets more than 61 days, the vehicle is supposed to be booted or towed. And clearly those violations, those 44 tickets, they go back to May of 2022. So according to policy, this car should have been booted. We don't know yet why or, you know, maybe the DMV had difficulty tracking down the vehicle. It would have to be parked somewhere, right, in order for it to get a boot on it. But uh, we do have those questions and we'll be reaching out to DMV. All right, Mel, thank you.